What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Black Mirror Season 2 Episode 3 The Waldo Moment And this, you know, we've seen some of your comments This is an insanely polarizing episode okay. of Black Mirror Okay People either hated it or they enjoyed it I didn't feel like there was a whole lot of middle ground. Oh, this is the one where everybody's like, you should just skip that yes, one. Yes, this is the this one. Is the, okay. So, like, we, we responded to a, a bunch of people in the comments about skipping it. And, you know, if we're in the middle of a show and we're watching it, we're never going to skip an episode. And I know this show is not normal. It doesn't, isn't, like, no, chronological. It's definitely, definitely yeah. not normal. Um, it doesn't follow the same, like, guidelines as normal shows. Every episode is standalone. And we get that, but still, like, there's a reason why this is episode three of season two. And if we skipped episodes that a handful of people just didn't like, we'd be skipping probably a lot of episodes because in no, a lot of shows. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't please everybody right. all the time. Yeah, and not everyone's going to have the same opinion, which is why we decided to jump back into doing this episode. And the only reason we jumped was because White Christmas basically conveniently we, landed know, on Christmas. On Christmas yeah. So that's the reason why we did that. And we told you guys we weren't going to skip it and we're not going to skip it. So here we are, Waldo moment. Either a love-hate type of relationship with the fans on this one. You ready to jump into it? Yeah. Let's go. Why do you want to be an MP? Because I'm not satisfied with the way things are. And rather than sit back and moan, I prefer to do something about it. Shame Tory Jason Gladwell resigns capitals over Twitter porn pic scandal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Originally, he claims the account had been hacked. Resignation statement admits inappropriate correspondence with a 15-year-old girl. No. Oh, oh, my God. Correspondence now, is it? Bump it all up to the top of the monologue. Anyone seen Jamie? Rach. Oh, you really shouldn't be calling me anymore. Focus on Waldo. That's going well for you. But it's not. Oh, he's a hit, Jamie. Realistically, I know there's not much of a chance, but... So it's a stepping you... stone for you? Yes. Is there anything in your past? that might conceivably cause problems. I did commit a series of murders in Huddersfield between 99 and 2003. But that I'm talking about. <laughs> well, thank you, Gwendolyn. I don't know if that joke... Uh, Went over yeah, very well at all. Don't think it landed. Unless she really did murder some people. And then it's like, ah, see? Nope, I don't think she... Yeah, yeah she... Jason Gladwell has resigned as an MP. That position presumably being hunched over wanking madly at school kids. Oh, I hate when there's like kids involved, man. Come on. The good news is he's now free to pursue a full-time career in the disgraced pedophile industry. This is funny, huh? I don't understand why he wants Pit politics. You could do politics. I do piss taking. Go if you want to. Yes, Commander. Big ball, blue bear bollocks. Waldo, who have you had in your cave this week? Well, Connor, in my big pink cave this week, I had former Minister for Culture, Liam Munro. I was hoping he'd notch me off. <laughs> Want to see how it panned out? I think we should. Hey, kids, my guest this week is Mr. Munro. Hello, Mr. Munro. Hello, Waldo. Do we know him? I feel like, I feel like it's Cat's brother. Oh, shit! Edmure. Yes, thank you. He married the Frey girl. No joke. Is that him? <laughs> These damn Game of Thrones actors keep know, popping fuck, up all man. over the place. I'm like, ah, yeah, shit, what the fuck is his name? I don't even know what just happened. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about his name. Liam Munro has lodged a complaint. And that's good press. It's fantastic the way Waldo puts the piss up Munro. Well, Twitter can't get enough of Waldo. Loves him. We want to see more of Waldo. That's good. They want to do a pilot. Sounds good. Sounds Stormy Norman. Fucking Stormy. Gonna give it to him. Just like how The Simpsons made it. They were a part of a show, got pulled out for their own show. Despite her terrible joke, she got selected. Alright. Hey, boys and girls, it's Waldo time! Yeah! <laughs> He's awesome, isn't he? When Monroe's doing a, a meet and greet, we just turn up and, and just get under his skin. I'm not dumb or clever enough to be political. Why I just... don't we get Waldo to stand for the by-election? Get people to vote for him? He's not real. Mm. 
Interesting. So they want him to get political, but he is not Against comfortable it. with it. Okay. Because he doesn't feel like he has enough knowledge. Thank you for your time. He's just gonna like harass him everywhere he goes. Hey, hey it's me, Waldo, Mr. Monroe, Mr. Monroe. Hey, did you get off with any of the mums? Why did you look like they were breastfeeding? You got big milky tits, Mr. Monroe. Let's find out what we can about the idiot inside that thing. Sure. Uh oh. Mr. Monroe. Oi! Um, she's just following him everywhere he goes. I would not want to be the driver for that. Right? Everybody would fucking hate him. Yeah, Waldo's hidden. That driver isn't. I'm, uh, I'm not ignoring you. Yeah, you were. Uh, you upset me. I'm absolutely devastated that you're upset. I'm, uh, I'm not ignoring you because there is no you. There's no point in attempting to converse with a, a cartoon. Converse, your lordship? Thy flowery language doth give me a right throbbing bone on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. God. Yikes. You know that's Gwendolyn Harris, the Labour candidate. Someone's bow, do I know you? Nice way to greet a voter. More of a rival. Hey, Mr. Monroe. Oh, well, you're that thing. He's a bear. <laughs> well, Liam Monroe calls him worse. <laughs> Another one? Okay, one. She seems very tense. The way you describe it, it's like you're Not doing anymore. this for a show. Yep, never mind. <laughs> like this place is the equivalent of a walk on in a sketch show. I'm the voice of a blue bear. <laughs> if that's doing well, then we are doomed. The voice of a blue bear getting Amazing. some booty. Guess he is doing well for himself. Is this gonna get them in trouble somehow? I know, way? I feel like this couldn't go good at all. Is he gonna use this against her in his sketches? I haven't been happy in a while. Oh boy. That is not what I wanna hear. I just met you. I don't want to know that. <laughs> Can I have your number? Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe she's into it. I don't know. If you had started talking about, I haven't been happy, and I don't, I'm like, oh shit. Deuces. What did I get into? <laughs> Damn it. Gotta go. I feel like he's gonna have to make fun of her, isn't he? That's, That's what I feel like. Yeah. He's gonna use that moment. He's mocking Monroe now, it'll be you next. His act is all F this and penis jokes. Don't see him again. I'm sure you'll find oh, that's enough. Maybe think. she's gonna keep ignoring him. And that's gonna uh, make him. Are there any particular issues I know, so like, mad. dude, if she doesn't text you back, you should probably not, like, call. Oh, and then he waited for her? Dude, not a good look. Not a good look. Look, I can't. When this is happening, I can't see you. What do you mean? Sorry. She's trying to break it off because of who he is, and well, he doesn't, he's not getting that. Her manager said that. Well, no, I mean, yeah, but like. She wanted to. Okay, yes. Professionally, it's not smart. Right. Why do we waste our time with animated trivialities like him? I mean, why? <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about James Salter. Hmm? A man whose career can be summed up surprisingly uh, quickly. Oh, shit. Your main achievement seems to have been playing the, the part of a corn on the cob in a high interest personal loan commercial. And now, of course, operating this, uh, this sort of teddy bear thing. He has nothing to offer, and he has nothing to say. Uh oh. Oh, go fuck yourself. Well, it's, it's more swearing. No one trusts you lot, because they know you don't give a shit about anything outside your bubble. She's here to build a showreel. I'm not kidding. That's literally it. No, she's not going to win. This is all experience to get herself on telly. 
someone else less real than me, and I can do this. <laughs> this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, that was hurtful to her. Like, maybe you shouldn't have used the information that you got from her and she like put been. it out on television. Like, she should have been smarter not a about idea. it too, though. Yeah. Well, you're a politician. You have to be, you have to keep everything close. Can't. I mean, it had to be hard to trust. Your friends close and your enemies closer? I wouldn't even tell things to my friends. No. <laughs> I mean, you saw how quickly Monroe digged up information on him to spew on national TV, right? Waldo's gonna get votes, yeah. isn't he? What? Waldo's gonna get votes, isn't he? Oh my god, probably. Get dressed, he meets outside. In just three days, Waldo has gone viral. Yep. Oh. The video of his clash has already been viewed over a million times on YouTube. Shit. Facebook groups calling on Waldo to form a national party. How does it feel to be a phenomenon? Shitify. You're in third place, mate. You overtook <laughs> that Lib Dem prick. Yeah, well, he's a glass of water. This is an opportunity, Jamie. He knows my name now. Everyone's pissed with the status quo, and Waldo gives that a voice. Waldo's a bear. I'm not a politician, okay? I don't want to be a politician. Waldo has got the attention of the young. It's an amazing thing what happens when something goes viral. Mm. Do you know who owns Waldo? I do. He's my character. Yeah. Written for my show. Oh, here we go. Fuck off. And watch me fly. Hey, Jamie, 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 what's happening? Ah. Shit. Oops. Yay! Except the public now Why knows the there? name behind no, no, Waldo. Got and this dude gonna say something crazy. Oh, Just God. how that works. Right, that's probably the smart decision. Well, I mean, if you want to keep your job. Or your life. I guess, <laughs> man. He is Waldo. A few weeks ago, just a cult character in a comedy show. Today, an official mascot Waldo. for protest voters. Waldo. You know you're gonna get your best ratings in months because I'm here. To well, even get close to the figures I'm gonna pull in for you tonight, you'd yeah. have to fuck a prawn sandwich live on air. I think what you're doing with Waldo is fascinating. From the agency? Yeah, listen, Waldo may be the perfect political figurehead. Waldo the bear. You already know he's not real, so no personal flaws. I'm a person. Waldo is a construct people not just accept, but embrace. At the moment, he's anti-politics, he which is a political stance in itself, right? In a debate, your team could Google every word the other guy says, then let Waldo hit him with debunk stats and spit a Twitter-ready zinger in the next sentence. We won't win, though. You got a global political entertainment product people actually want. Interesting. You could roll this out worldwide. Jeez. Like Pringles. Like, they want to take over the world with Waldo. Right? That's what it feels like. Using something like Waldo in places where people are vulnerable, it's kind of what they're hitting on. Yeah. Did you see Gwendolyn Harris yesterday? She looks like she's been poisoned. Because he's going to overtake her. If that thing is the main opposition, then the whole system looks absurd. Which it may well be. I mean... I kind of agree with that. He's kind of making it less serious. Who's gonna run the place? After the campaign, I would have called you. All you've done is strengthen Monroe. You won't win either, but I was at least attempting to represent. Well, I don't, I don't know, not just bollocks to everything. I kind of feel bad for him. Like, he's just mixed up in all the stuff that he's just completely. I mean, unfamiliar with. It is a very difficult position. I mean, you could have just let him yeah. take over. Yeah, right. He seems a little bit more crass than even... Seriously, only an asshole would actually vote for me. That's not going to help the situation at all. I'm worse than a wasted vote. Don't vote for me! Oh, that's not good. Look, it's me. I'm Waldo. This guy, whoever this guy is, he's a hero. You should throw stuff at Waldo. He's bad bloody news. Question the status quo. Oh, the first man to hit him gets 500 quid. Oh, inciting violence. There we go. Yeah, yeah. 
all that's gonna do is make Waldo, Waldo even more popular. Watch. I know, right? I mean, you know, it's a, what is it? The mob mentality. Harris, Gwendolyn, Jody, Labour, eleven thousand two hundred and thirty-seven. Monroe, Liam, George, Tennyson, Conservative, nineteen thousand one hundred and sixty-one. Waldo, Independent. 16,784. I declare that Liam Munro is duly elected Member of Parliament for the constituency. 500 quid to anyone who can love a shoe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. I, I'm not about that. I thought Waldo was going to win that. I did too. I actually thought that they were going to have Waldo win it. Happy Jack, come on! Come on! Oh, is he homeless now? What the now? hell? I mean, what else did he have besides Waldo? Jesus. Change. Oh my god. Waldo is, uh... A big deal. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Okay. He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> oh, they didn't even arrest him. They just beat him up. Damn. All right, y'all. That is the end of the Waldo moment, which was. I, I kind of. My immediate thought on that is like it, it was almost like a, a, a social experiment of like. Yes. Like, that's exact. Okay, yes. Like, just... I was like, what do you call this? Yeah. You take, obviously, I, I understand why a lot of you had mentioned that it, it makes a lot more sense with the current state of politics in the world. Um, I understand all that. I get it. You take a moment where there's an election going on, and if people may not be happy, the majority of the people may not be happy with whatever's going on, you take something like Waldo, who is funny, talks shit, uses bad language, maybe speaks a little bit of truth about the people that he's like running against, mm -hmm. and he got people excited. And he went viral. Yeah. Stuff goes viral, like anything is possible. Like I don't I don't know what year this this was made. Um, but like anything goes viral in the world today, anything's possible. And that's that's kind of like the message I took out of that. It's just like they had this dumb character, mm -hmm. and they put him in. They they, they kind of just thrusted him into the political system because there was easy targets in there to make jokes and, and stuff like that. And they didn't like think that. he was going to get any votes, right? No, I They're think like, it sounded like he finished second. It sounded like I think. Yeah, because it was like nineteen, and then it was Waldo got sixteen, yeah. and then um, that Gwen chick got eleven thousand. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty interesting because like. In this scenario, it felt like it was people were just so unhappy with what was going on okay. that they were easily fooled into like buying into this fictional character to be their politician and lead them. Well, I mean, I've so, heard about that, like pe random people being written in on ballots and stuff. Yeah, I mean, there fictional was fictional characters and things. There was something with the uh, Harambe. Got a whole bunch of votes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, the gorilla. Oh, yeah. R.A.P. Gorilla. Yeah. So it was like I don't I I I don't. Oddly enough, when we started this video, I said like either there's a ton of hate or there was just people enjoyed it. Like I, I I felt like this was on par with the rest of the Black Mirror episodes. I thought it was pretty entertaining. Yeah. I didn't think it was the most awful thing in the world. I could no. see why it would throw people off. Maybe if they if don't they took it yeah. too close yeah i'm not gonna that. watch this and take it insanely seriously no. it's entertainment regardless yeah, of really, like yeah. regardless of what's going on in the world today which we're not going to talk about that nope um but yeah it's just i could see why and you know it, it wasn't the worst episode on the planet earth of tv that i've ever seen in my entire life no so any other thoughts nope <laughs> All right, y'all. So Sorry. there it is. There it is. We've wrapped up two seasons of Black Mirror. So yeah, like we told you guys, we weren't going to skip it. We watched it. It wasn't as bad as some of you said. 
it, it wasn't the greatest thing. It wasn't the worst thing. It was yeah. it was an entertaining episode. One thing that was lacking in this one, though, based off of the other Black Mirror episodes, there was no insane, crazy, super technology thing in this episode. Well, I mean, uh, roaming blue bear with... Right, that's a, old technology. I know, but like... <laughs> I... It wasn't anything on the level of some of the other stuff that we've seen in this show in terms of like the digital recording through the eyes. Oh yeah, like that shit. Oh some God. of the other things that memories. Yeah, like creating human beings who have died. Like this show has done some insane things and that was pretty tame compared to some of the technology we've seen kind of created in this show. So so yeah, there it is. Leave some comments down below. Let the debates go on. You guys could talk all you want about this. Be nice. To each other, meaning be respectful. Of course. We can all have a difference of opinion. Yeah. That doesn't make you a bad person. Exactly. Have at it. Discuss away. Leave some comments. We love hearing from everybody. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.